This is a high level overview of the version control functionality in, in AppSheet. Version control can be found here under manage and versions, the versions tab. And uh, the first thing we'll point out is version history. So every, anytime you hit the save button in AppSheet, a new version is created and you can view versions back as, as far as uh, 365 days, I believe. And um, you could configure account settings to basically change that time frame, either up or down based off of, uh, you know, the, the, the needs of the, the organization. Um, but anytime a new version is saved, uh, the developers have an option to retrieve and, and view the definition at any previous state and time by just clicking the view button. And then that will pull up an app definition that was uh, for that previous version as shown here on the screen once it loads so they could they could view this data at any time and this is helpful in retrieving old old formulas old configurations and referencing those now if they wanted to restore that version and do you know immediate rollback of the version they can hit this restore button in that whatever version they're viewing and then that would make that version the new version as well and, and basically append on a new version um, as if it was the next version of uh, your your app in addition to version history there's also the ability to set a stable version okay so you hit this button here and lock in a stable version for the app users so you can continue iterating and developing the app without affecting the the field users um, the, the folks that are using the app itself, right? So if you make an error or something like that, when you're editing it, it will not affect the stable conversion of the app itself. The one caveat to that is obviously the app is connected to a data source. So if you make changes to the data source and you have a stable version that's still looking for the old version of the data source, you'll run into issues that way. So in that situation that will require you know, typically creating another copy of the app to use for test purposes or, you know, a copy of at least the data source itself that you would use for testing. Um, so there's there's that ability to set a new stable version and then you can always deploy a new stable version by clicking the button. Uh, in addition to that, you could also do controlled rollouts as well on a certain, uh, you know, percentage level uh, for uh, the user base of the app. So if you have a new version ready to go, you could you know, say roll it out to just 10% of the users of the app um, to make sure that there's no issues. So uh, you have those options. Um, the app upgrade piece is uh, very useful if you need to create a whole separate environment uh, with, with your app, right? So, you know, this is really recommended when you want to, you know, change your database structure or make significant changes to the app. You, you essentially make a copy of the app itself and call it test or good development or whatever you want to do. Um, and then make your changes, uh, make the new version of your app. And then when you're ready to import that test version into the production app, you basically put the name of that up that uh, development version of the app here in the field and then click upgrade app and that will import the app definition into the production app itself so uh, that will completely replace the whatever previous version you're using so you also need to reconnect all of the data sources and ensure they're connected to production data sources as well so so hopefully that helps. That's, that's basically a, a high level version of version control that uh, could be useful in, in um, if customers ask about version control and um, uh, management in AppSheet.